Today's quick tip is a little blend of quick tip, update, and teaser on the new Flow toolpath. Flow is an excellent toolpath that supports both 3D and full multi-axis machining. The toolpath generates based on the ISO curves of a surface, basically following along the curves in all three axes. This means the toolpath passes and points are evenly distributed, which runs very smoothly on the machine and creates a consistent surface finish on the part. Let's take a look at how to unlock all this power. Even though Flow can generate strictly 3D toolpaths, it's in the multi-axis section of the toolbar. In the Geometry tab, I need to choose a surface. Once I select the surface or surfaces I want to machine, a double-ended arrow appears on each surface. These arrows point along one of the axes, orthogonal to the surface normal vector, and the arrow is going to control the direction of the passes. To make sure the toolpath is continuous, or flows if you will, I'll make sure the arrows are pointing in the same direction. In the Passes tab, I'll set the number of stepovers. The passes distribute evenly across the surface, which is what gives the results a nice even finish. For a wider surface like this one, I'll use 100 stepovers. Let's do another three axis just for fun. Again, I'll choose the surfaces I want to finish and make sure the arrows are aligned for a smooth transition from surface to surface. These surfaces are less wide, so I'll use 30 stepovers instead of 50. I got a small warning next to this result, and it looks like Fusion is just telling me that some passes were skipped. Now let's dig into multi-axis flow. I'll follow the same steps of choosing the surfaces and vector directions, just like in 3-axis. This time in the Passes tab, I'll check the Use Multi-Axis checkbox. Now I can also define various tilt parameters that give the tool the option to tilt around the current Z-axis. Forward Tilt Angle tilts the tool in the direction of the cut, giving it a lead or lag angle. Sideways Tilt will tilt the tool around the direction of the cut. Entering a minimum tilt will mean the tool is always tilted, and maximum tilt defines the tilt limit for the toolpath on each side of vertical. A maximum tilt of 180 degrees will give the tool full and unlimited tilt. The machine I would cut this part on can tilt 210 degrees, so I'll enter a maximum tilt of 100 degrees. These toolpaths look pretty smooth, but let's see how the points are distributed. In the stock simulation, I can display the toolpath points. They look pretty darn even. For comparison, we can look at the parallel toolpath on the scroll wheel well. The parallel cut lines look fine, but the points are far less even. This even distribution of points will help the toolpath run smoothly on the machine and contribute to a nice even finish. Let's go back to the first toolpath and look at how multi-axis can improve the cut conditions. Using forward and side tilt, can keep the ball end mill from cutting on the tip, creating better cut conditions and leaving a much better surface. The stock simulation shows the cut staying off the tip of the end mill. I can also display the axes which shows how the tool will be oriented at each point while cutting, using a yellow line. We'll finish this quick tip off with a stock simulation to check out the results of the flow toolpaths. Pretty smooth. And now for the teaser. Keep an eye out next week for another video where we'll go deeper into the toolpath parameters and actually run some parts using flow in both three and full five axis at Pier 9. Can't wait to see what you do with flow.